This video is sponsored by LD Player. Guys, I know what it looks like. Give me a chance. I have evolved my dudes from collecting waifus to collecting waifu cookies. Hi, welcome to a cookie run kingdom video. This is <laughs> this is not a video I thought I'd be making. My name is Lace and today we're gonna be doing a first impressions, a quick run through of cookie run kingdom. Interdimensional space mayhem. It's a, there's a lot going on here. It's funny because there's honestly a lot of hype around this game. And some of my friends were even like, you know, this is actually a pretty good game. And honestly, Honestly, I don't doubt them, especially because with the amount of players there are. And so yeah, today we're going to be playing through this one and having a look at all of the different like either mechanics or like the art, the music, the surroundings. Because to be honest, I was pretty interested in this game when it launched, but I didn't really have time for it. But screw it. And so with that being said, let's jump into it. And so something that you guys did not see was that I had to select my language before. And so I wanted to show you guys the language options. And honestly, this is pretty nutty. The fact that they're supporting like a whole bunch of this text as well as the voice settings. And from what I remember, a lot of it is actually voice acted. And so just by looking at this, I can kind of like get a glimpse of how much money has been pumped into this game. On top of that, I am on the new server, Hollyberry. And so let's get started and see where we go from here. Let's have a look at this cutscene. This is, um, it reminds me of Powerpuff Girls. If anyone's ever seen those like back in the 90s, back in the 2000s, the, the Powerpuff Girls. Anyway, we've got... <laughs> We got a classic, a classic RPG story with like a, a wizard and some knights and stuff. Oh my God, this is, uh, this is very, very interesting already, okay? All right, here we got the bad guy. It looks like it's a devil thing and a lot of bad things are happening. A lot of, like bad cookies. I don't know, man. What are you going to do to the bad cookies? You're going to spank them? I'm sorry, guys. This is actually just hilarious and it, it's hilarious in a great way. It is most certainly not like your typical waifu collector or your waifu battler. It's... It's a bunch of cookies. Oh, oh wow. This art is actually, is actually pretty dope. Okay, so it looks like we are getting into, oh, Hollyberry. So that is our server. It looks like we are a buff female cookie, which is pretty cool. So wow, this sound is pretty good. I know you guys can't hear it because again, I do not want to be DMCA'd, but the sound is certainly not bad. And I guess this is kind of live 2D, kind of animated, which is pretty nice. As for the art style itself, it is, I think very appropriate is probably the best way to put it. It's quite simplistic. It's kind of like Western-y and it's also cartoony, but it also feels high production. And I quite like that. Anyway, let me get through this and let's have a look at a battle because I suspect we're going to be fighting a boss very soon. Oh my God god guys i just <laughs> so sorry dark cacao cookie like seriously foul sticky cream the stench of burnt butter in the air oh man this is just hilarious i guess from like a world building and story writing point of view this this unique aspect of everyone being a cookie is already killing it oh my god there's a golden cheese cookie as well oh my god and a pure vanilla cookie this is this is incredible i love this all right guys i gotta get over this i'll see you guys very very soon all right, guys, so it looks like we are at the start of our first battle. We're going to tap this to use the skill to attack the cake hounds. Oh, my God. And then we've got an angry cooker over there. But, like, let's... Oh, my gosh. These animations are actually pretty cracked. So, it looks pretty simple. Like, it looks like... Oh my gosh, we just we just kind of ran over those guys. This is this is actually kind of cool. And so now we have a dark enchantress cookie. Okay, so so was that all the fighting? Oh my god, guys, this game just got like so philosophical. The dark enchantress cookie was like, do you guys know why we were created? Why we cookies were created? And now Hollyberry Cookie is like, it's because of happiness. That's what it's all about. Oh man, this is so good. And when you fall down and crumble, or when you become, dare I say it, ha ha ha, soggy. <laughs> this is just really great because they are oh my god it's just, just the fact that it takes place in like a cookie world it just opens up to like all sorts of puns all sorts of jokes that are like within the realms of cookies right and so to me personally this is just such a great like distinguishing factor from all of the other like generic games because yes we do have the knights the mages and the wizards or whatever but but they're all cookies. Okay, it looks like we're freaking dead. But oh, wow, okay, these animations are actually really freaking cool. All right, so we must use the pause to avert her next attack. So what is the pause gonna be? Use this skill to defend from the cake, which is next attack. Okay, what is this? Oh, it's a shield. Okay, nice, nice. It's a shield absorb and Holy crap, that's a that's a strong cookie. All right, so it looks like we are allowed to use all of the cookie skills. So I'm just gonna go bam. I'm gonna go bam. Oh, is anything working? Oh yeah, there we go. Okay, I can use that. I can use that. I can use that. Oh my gosh. This is actually really freaking hectic. Wait, I think that's a heal. So, oh no, that's a buff. 
This <laughs> wait, wait, wait a second. These animations are actually, I think, better than a lot of other games that I've seen. Holy crap, it's really hectic though. It actually kind of plays like pre-con, which is something I thought I'd never say about a cookie game, right? Those skills that we just saw were kind of like the union burst and like everything else we could not like have any control over. Oh my god. I <laughs> Uh, rip our cookies. This is, um, this is very, very interesting. Guys, look at this insane animation. These insane cutscenes, they, the production value is actually just so cracked. Da -da 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 oh my gosh. This is, this is actually like a cookie anime. Like, <laughs> what the frick? This is so good. All right, guys, it looks like we have our main character, Ginger Brave. And so our situation right now is that I believe we're getting chased down by a dog. Can we use a... <laughs> what the frick? <laughs> Oh my god, they even have facial expressions like whilst they're on the battlefield. This is, oh, this is so great. All right, looks like we've hit a dead end. It looks like we gotta fight this uh, cake monster. Oh my god, dude, it's so cute. What the frick? I do not want to fight that. I do not want to kill that. Oh, uh, don't do it, Ginger Brave. Don't freaking do it. No, no. I'm sorry, little pup. Oh, okay, wait, hold up. This is a new mechanic. Okay, so auto attacks, and then we can just slam into them with a... <laughs> They just fly off the screen when they die. Oh my god, these death animations are so good. Oh my, what is this load screen? It's 3D. I I don't know how I feel about my cookies in 3D. I'm sorry for like taking up time in the video to talk about this, but it's just so funny. This strawberry cookie is like, I found the witch eating a cookie. Like, oh, uh, this story writing is just, it's just so many possibilities, right? Wait, guys, what the frick? It looks like we're actually going to go ahead and build a kingdom. All right, I guess we're calling it the lace them. <laughs> Hey, what the? And so guys, our kingdom will henceforth be named the Lace Them. All right, let's check it out. And wow, okay, we can do this. That's, that's pretty nice. Okay, so next we need to build a cookie house. So I believe we're clicking this button over here. Nope, it's this one down here, the build button over there. Cookie house, 2000 of the wood, oh no, of the coins. And then we can place it down and we get some wood, roll cake wood. So now let's build it and it looks like, oh no, I see a lot of microtransactions incoming. All right, I can tap it. I knew it. I freaking knew it. This is the first thing that came to mind when I saw like a building progress. All right, you got me this time. Tap here, that's 35 jemmies. It is what it is. And so it actually looks like we do have a base system, which is actually pretty cool. Okay guys, this is actually quite interesting. So we have have a rear, middle, and front setup. I can't alter it right now, but this is, uh, oh my God, I can actually feel some level of strategy here. Okay guys, it looks like we are fighting again. And so let's, let's beat this guy up. Oh my God, okay. Wait, that looks like standard mage skills with a lot of cakes and stuff. Would it be worth waiting for them to clump up and then use the skills? I wonder if it's like targeted on single targets or if it's just an AOE on the area. It's a cool shiny metal thing. Wait, that's a... I have a stinking suspicion that what we just found, that like imprinting thing, I don't know what they're called. I feel like we're going to be using that to roll for characters. Okay, that was kind of cool. So it looks like every time we finish a stage, we're getting more territory for our kingdom. It's a special cookie cutter. All right, it looks like we are going to be doing our role now. <laughs> if I fits, I sits. All right, well, their meme game is on. And so this is it. Use a cookie cutter at the gacha. All right, it looks like we can't escape it. It is what it is. We are gacha game specialists. And so let's see what we get. We are doing a draw one. Oh my. Oh, right, we're going back into the witch's house. Oh, this one is a lot of love. Let's see what we get. Uh, da 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 da. Bam. What the frick? It just broke the table. Oh, it's a rainbow cookie. Hold up, it's a rainbow cookie. Is this a good one? I hope this is a good one. Oh, mama. You like it spicy, huh? <laughs> Wait, this one's kind of cute. Chili pepper cookie. All right, I guess I found my wife, you guys. <laughs> okay, so let's have a look at this. We have ambush class and a middle slot. I have a feeling that this battle system is going to be pretty robust. Oh, wait a second. I think because she's part of the cutscenes, she is probably like the guaranteed, the rigged role. All right, so whatever we played before, it looks like it wasn't actually the real story mode. This is the real story stages. And so like, let's talk about this a bit. Like the performance, it is silky, silky smooth. The buttons, the UI, 
AI, everything is super, super responsive. If I hit world map, the transitions are very fast. That looks like it's locked to 60 FPS, which is not bad at all. And then it looks like for the hard mode, there's a dark mode, which is, <laughs> which is pretty funny. And so I want to see like my units. So if I go into storage, storage, there is, it looks like this EXP stuff. Where are my people, man? Okay, guys. So I somehow found my way into like the cash shop and there are a lot of packs that there, there is there is a lot going on here kingdom Haas, everything is like really low priced i'm kind of glad that i can't pick this up long term because i would be dropping cash pretty fast you know what i'm saying one per day mm, thanks for the free stuff yeah guys like i am a sucker for low spender stuff so there is a, there is a lot of low spender stuff here all right so coming back to the gacha it looks like we get a daily gift which is nice but it gives us cookie soul stones and toppings so i don't know if this is actually a cookie okay so it gives us shards which makes sense I guess and so here we go we've got the rewards so it looks like every time we finish a stage we're going to be getting a hundred gems so guys before we go any further let's take a short break to talk about our sponsor LD player is a modern Android emulator built to run all of your mobile games and apps They've got features like multi-instancing, 64-bit support, macros, high frame rate mode, 120 FPS, yeah, yeah. And personally, I use LD Player for a lot of my other daily games like Punishing Grey Raven and Revive Witch. And so if you would like to try out LD Player, head on down into the description or the pinned comment, and then go ahead and click that link. Otherwise, thank you again, LD Player, for sponsoring this video. And with that, let's get back to it. Okay, guys, so I've played through quite a fair bit now, and I think to say a lot has happened is an understatement. Somehow we ended up even in a gummy bear village and then there's like sugar gnomes as oh my god It's crazy. This game is crazy However, i'm at a point where I can actually see a lot of the different systems or like a lot of the different like processes going on Right. And so as you can see, this is our world stage It looks like we're going to be going until we get to the end, which is probably at yeah, 113 We've got a boss fight and then after that we're probably just going to go into two world three world four, etc And so it looks like there's going to be a lot of content all the way up to oh my god that that is a lot so 12 worlds which is quite a fair bit and we also have the dark stages all right and so the other things i've noticed or i wanted to show you guys is the kingdom itself which is actually quite involved right and so as you can see i have a cookie here producing wood for me which is um <laughs> which is pretty insane and so it looks like you just like select the ones you want from the right hand side it gets queued up on the left hand side but like this uh that's that's not many slots for me and that is like a pretty low cooldown however it looks like as we get higher and higher our different resource requirements are going to be like bigger and bigger so i was worried when i saw this was 30 seconds and there was only four of these that the base management would be like very very heavy and honestly i think with the way that it's going especially like we got a smithy over here i do think that this is going to be it's going to have quite a big like time emphasis and so i think for the people that are not really into like the base management and stuff this this game is probably not going to be for you on top of that like clearing these logs and stuff it's really reminiscent it reminds me of like i think clash of clans as well as Dragalia Lost. Just being able to like remove some of these things is pretty cute and then we can like saw away some trees. But on top of that we expand our kingdom by clicking this plus over here and then using axes to expand it. And so yeah that's kind of like all of the systems in place in terms of like the world itself. And so if I come into the cookies and go into one of the cookies themselves you'll see that there is quite a lot going on here. We've got HP, attack, defense and crit. Crit percent I think crit damage is probably just going to be flat at two times or something. But on top of that, what I've noticed is that there is a toppings menu and that five like pointed star is kind of indicating to me like kind of an artifact system or like a rune system if you guys play Summoner's War. So it's probably going to have like a two piece set, a four piece set, five piece set, stuff like that, right? And then on top of that, it looks like we can indeed upgrade these skills. And so down over here, you can see there is a shard bar. So you can see those little shards of this cookie over here. I suspect it's to give her more stars, right? So we've got one, two, three, four, five stars stars max and so to get stars i reckon that we're gonna need these like soul gems and then we're gonna go over and hit promote and yeah so we need more uh, soul stones so it looks like we need 20 soul stones for the first star level it's probably gonna go up and up and up however at this point it does look like it's just a flat increase in stats and so that's pretty cool it looks like we can get some extra stats if we do get like dupe cookies me personally i'm glad it's not really tying like the skill levels or like something that's a little bit more game changing to the shards but yeah with that i think that's that's pretty much it in terms of like the cookies themselves. All right, and so the last thing I wanted to show you guys was the amount of events going on. Like it's actually
actually freaking crazy. There seems to be a lot, like there is a lot of gems up for grabs, but like, actually, you know what? There's something we did not see. And that is the gacha rates themselves. So let's have a look at the probabilities. So, so those probabilities are actually very, very low. 0 0.724, 0 0.362. Okay, that's yeah that is actually quite low however it looks like the majority of the cookies are going to be epic but yeah these rates aren't overly impressive ancient and legendary it looks like they are like the fat juices and my god are these rates low what the frick to hit the sea fairy cookie it's 0.05 percent fair enough i wonder if there's like a guarantee system or anything and so it looks like we have a mileage shop i i suspect this is probably something like the guarantee system but yeah other than that i don't really see any pities so that's a little bit worrying but whilst we're here let's have a shot at the mala sauce cookie we have 4.2k gems let's do a tendril and so let's hit it please be good luck please have great luck all right let's see what kind of color we get uh is that just a red hey was it was there no color on that or do we see it over here all right let's use this and it looks like there's no rainbow it looks like it was just a gold and that's kind of it, but that's okay. I can't really expect, you know, I can't expect the world. All right, so we've got an avocado cookie who looks like a blacksmith that has a hammer made of avocados, which is freaking hilarious. Then we got a carrot cookie and then we got a licorice cookie soul stone. Oh my God, wait a second. We can get shards. We can, no, wait, no, this is not a good thing. We can get shards and not the cookies themselves. Okay, okay, this is, um, this is kind of disappointing, I guess. So we've got a clover cookie who is a rare. Jeez. Wait, so out of all of that, we only got two new cookies. Dang, that's uh, that's that's really rough, man. My luck is already trash, but like the system itself is... Woo! All right, so we drew a lot of times and so we got 90 mileage points. And so it looks like it costs 100 mileage points to get one of these shards, which is... Oh, de oh dear. Oh dear. All right, all right, all right. Let's uh, let's get out of that and have a look at something else. But yeah, guys, aside from that, I think that's pretty much it in terms of like the game content itself. I've shown you the gacha. I've shown you kind of like the progression system in terms of these cookies. I've shown you the world stages. I've shown you the combat. Actually, there's, there's quite a lot in the combat. I personally think that there are a lot of strategic elements in this combat system, like that that positioning or like that bash from our front cookie. Th there's so much that you can do with that, right? Like, so you just saw he bashed those two snake looking things into the other enemies which grouped them up so that they could be AOE'd so yeah like and you just saw it again and I just think there are so many possibilities if this is just one of the mechanics then there's bound to be a lot of other things that are possible me personally I don't know if the battle system has been done before but I'm a pretty big fan of it I just think that there are a lot of like opportunities a lot of options a lot of strategy behind it but of course that's probably going to depend on the different cookies that you do have and as you guys saw from the gacha that uh, that, that was a little bit rough. But otherwise, I think that's kind of it for the game itself. There's, again, there's a lot going on here. And so if you guys want to try this game out, consider clicking the link down in the description or the pinned comment, because that would just help out the channel a lot. And so with that, I want to ask you guys the secret question. And it's, well, how did you guys feel about this game? Um... There, there, there's a lot there's a lot going on i would say that this probably is not going to be a side game it's looking quite involved and honestly it's pretty fun the art the story the humor in particular i quite like the sounds the animations like everything is actually really really high quality however there are a couple of things that are kind of letting me down like the gacha system i saw the shards and i was like ooh. I don't know about that one. And then the lack of pity, but like, oh my God, a mala sauce cookie. Huh. Anyway, you guys let me know how you feel about the game. I know it's not really like your classic waifu collector or whatever, but to be honest, going through this, it was quite a breath of fresh air. And so if you would be so kind as to leave your thoughts down in the comments below, I would really appreciate it because it means you've watched up until the end of the video. And so thank you guys so much. But otherwise, please consider a like, sub, a follow. And if you would like to support the channel, we've got the affiliate links as well as like a membership thing. But as the mala sauce cookie wants said to me all good things must come to an end and so thank you guys so much for watching and i'll catch you guys in the next video bye bye